and of the appointment committee presented a report of the committee to the House, which was seconded by the minority leader, who is the ranking member of that committee, but with some reservations. He was worried about the inconsistencies in the response of the nominee during the vetting process. The man himself, the man himself admitted that he entered primary school at age four, eventually. Got repeated a couple of times. So you are telling us that he could have entered school, secondary school at primary school. He got repeated at least two times, at least. And that is a fact. Mr. Speaker, so when did he enter secondary school? When did he enter secondary school? Mr. Speaker, let, let my, my colleague take a cue and sit down. Then when a member suggested to him that perhaps the statement about the Team B players was made to secure a ministerial appointment, the speaker, his, his answer was that at the time that statement was made, he was the chief executive officer of the Commonwealth Tele, uh, Telecommunications Organization, and hence his compensation package was far higher than any minister in Ghana. And because of that, he didn't need it. The speaker, that is the, that's the, that's the, that is, that is the sort of person that we are discussing in this house. And people see nothing wrong with it. This is the Minister of Roads and Highways and MP for Tamale Central, Ahaji Nusa Fuseni, raised a point of order and tried to justify the report presented. And indicate to the world that under the system that Jogabra went to school, it was possible to go to secondary school. But did you take into account the admission by the nominee before the committee? I thought that was the point. That was the point that the minority leader was saying in terms of some repetitions or something. That was the foundation of the minority leader statement. He can still be objective and critical to his own party, but that criticism may have been taken out of context. And as a result, Mr. Speaker, I just want us to give him the benefit of the doubt. But let me agree with uh, the member of parliament from Bekwai that we should watch him and see what he can bring on board. Ghana has got into a transition when we want a transformation of our trade and a shift in our economic structure. The private sector along with the trade ministry are key in doing that and will en we'll encourage him to go beyond the fact that he's seen a different thing about um, how he relates with his fellow ministers. This view by the minority leader was shared by most of the members from the minority side who had also had issues with the attitude of the nominee. The reason why I'm cautioning this house is that when you pen, not only say, when you pen something and bring to the Honorable Appointments Committee something different, and you come and attribute even the different thing you have brought to somebody else, it is very dangerous in delicate trade negotiations. And we have to be very, very, and I'm saying that the exhibition of that characteristic, as well as calling his own members on the majority side, Team B members, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, it is dangerous. As suggested by the previous speaker, um, there's no denying the fact that the nominee showed excerpts of or a high level of um, um, intelligence and brilliance. He put across some very brilliant ideas. But there was something that I think uh, you should watch. Uh, it does appear that um, uh, the attitude of, of the nominee, even at the committee, was one that appeared to be bereft of um, um, <laughs> bereft of uh, um, modesty and lack of accommodation for lack of accommodation for diversity and even differences. I suggest to him that if he is finally approved by this house. He must recognize that even those who do not necessarily uh, have his level of intelligence also deserve to be heard and to be respected. Passionate believer in party building and party politics. Mr. Speaker, I am a part, passionate believer in party building and party politics. And I have respected that I do not think that the people in the NDC 
quality and also Ghanaians. We lack quality people to govern to help in the administration of this country. We do not lack it. We don't lack people. And therefore, somebody who cannot say that I said this thing, I believe the next. And I still believe in it. That the team that was there was the B. That's what I expected from Mr. Sir Gabriel. But even the report that we are discussing on page 6, it is clear that the man is not accepting that he made a statement and he apologized for it. But he said that those who feel offended. Some reports of the loan and credit agreements laid on Wednesday were distributed to members for debate and subsequent passage before the House rises on Friday.